Howdy everyone, John here with eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2 bike rack for our 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. Now the monorail is going to be a amazing bike rack whenever it comes to the versatility that it has. It can handle everything from your road bikes to your e-bikes uh, and that all comes down to how it holds your bike in place and the weight. The weight is going to be able to handle uh, 60 pounds per bike so it's going to be 120 pounds uh, in full which is very good. Uh, there are a couple e-bikes that will probably go over this weight capacity but for the most part it's going to be handle any type of bike that you have when it comes to the weight. The other way that helps the versatility of this bike rack is the fact that the front wheel is held in place by this hook here. So you just bring it down like that and unlike uh, bike racks that hold the frame in place this is going to be able to uh, have your carbon frame bikes, any odd shaped frame bikes, because it's not holding on to the frame itself, it's holding on to the wheel. One of the main features of this bike rack is the tilt-away. So as you can see, it's hiding right underneath here. It has a little lever that you pull, and then you just slowly let it down. It has a good amount of uh, resistance whenever you're letting it down, so you don't have to worry as much about anything happening to your bikes or being too heavy. And as you can see, even with our longer handlebars, very easy to open up. You can get your bike helmets, your water, anything you may need on the track. And all you have to do is close it and then put it back into place. Now let's take our bike off. It's very easy back here on our rear wheel cradle. Just to press this strap right here, push it through. And then from there, we are just going to hold our bike in place, press the hook, put it down. Then all we have to do is grab our frame and lift it off. Taking a closer look at the rear wheel cradle, you can see that we just put that back in place just to make sure it's out of the way. It can change the placement of where it is. It rotates around. So this is going to help with your wheelbase. Uh, whenever you have larger uh, wheels like what we had back there, that was 48 inches, which is going to be about as big of a wheelbase that you can have on this. But you can move it back and forth depending on what kind of bike you have. Now, looking at the front cradle, we're just going to get this out of the way, pull it down. As you can see, front cradle, we can actually close it up whenever we're not using it, which is really nice. Uh, this can hold up to five inch tire width, which is very nice. So your fat tire bikes are gonna be able to be put in this. Along with that, for the different size bike wheels, you have different sizes of ridges. So your smaller ones are gonna fit in here, and then fat tire bikes are just gonna fit in there normally. Now something to keep in mind when you're driving around with this, especially whenever you're backing up into a place, you're gonna wanna have to know how much room do you have. And we can check and see from the end of our car to the end of the bike rack, it is about 26 inches. So just keep that in mind whenever you're backing up, maybe you're getting to the trail and you wanna know how much room do you have. Now let's also take a look at ground clearance. Ground clearance is something to keep in mind whenever you're going up hilly areas because whenever your front goes up, your back is going to go down. Now on our Santa Fe, it isn't as much of a deal, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see how much room do we actually have. Okay, we have about 21 and a half inches, which is fairly good whenever it comes to how much ground clearance you have. But there is also back here at the shank, let's see how much room do we have. And we have about a foot. Now, when you don't have any bikes on here, something I recommend to do is tilt it up. Same uh, that you did to tilt away, is you're just gonna pull this lever push it up, make sure it's in place, and then you severely cut down the amount of room that you have whenever it comes to backing up. Now, let's take some measurements and see how much room do we cut down on. Okay, we're getting about 12 inches whenever it comes to how far it's out from the front to the back. Now, let's see how close it gets. We've got about about three inches, so that's a good amount of room. Nothing's going to really touch the back, so that's something to keep in mind. Don't have to worry about anything scratching up against your vehicle. 
Now, with the monorail in this position, obviously whenever you have a bike on the back, it's going to cut down on your visibility when you're looking through the back windshield. But overall, what does it look like when we have it in this position? As you can see, it's out of the ways of our lights, our back windshield, and whenever it comes to our license plate, you can see it. Something to keep in mind though is our camera is going to be somewhat cut off by the bike rack. So you'll still be able to see, but just keep that in mind. So with our shank, it is going to be a two inch shank, so it's gonna fit into two inch hitches. It's gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt and a hitch pin lock, which the hitch pin lock is also key to like with our lock system for the bikes, which is very nice. Now, like I said, this has an anti-rattle bolt, which is pretty standard, but it's an amazing thing to have for the fact that, let's say you're driving down the road and you're hitting some bumps, you're not gonna have to worry about your bikes jostling all over the place. As you can see, as I shake this, it's staying with the vehicle, it's not moving by itself, so that's very nice to see. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. On our Santa Fe is the fact that while I do think it hits all the marks that you would need, it's very versatile and it works great. I do recommend the Kuat NV whenever it comes to a platform style bike rack for this specific setup whenever you're worrying about versatility with your different bike racks. Uh, it's just got a couple extra features that puts it a little bit higher than this one, uh, especially whenever it comes to the integrated cable system and the tilt away is just a little bit better in my opinion. But overall, if you and a friend are just wanting to go out and you have a multitude of different bikes and you want one bike rack that can handle all of them, this is the go-to. And that was a look at our Rocky Mounts monorail two bike rack for our 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. My name is John. Thank you for watching.